So I saw this post from Bruce this morning in the Articulate Community Forums, and he was wondering how to create a Star Wars style effect for text. So I played around with it for a few minutes, and I think that this could be a decent start. This is just my PowerPoint file right here, and I'll go ahead and play the animation for you. You can see what this looks like. So you can see the text kind of moves you know, into the slide and then fades out. So let's take a look at how we would build this. Um, first thing was I started out with a text box here that's um, a little bit wider than my slide, and I've centered the text and moved it uh, you know, just south of my slide stage here. And I'm going to apply several attributes to it. So I'll select the text box, and the first thing I want to do is add that perspective that makes it look like you know, it's kind of leaning backwards. So I'm going to choose the Format tab, and then I'm going to choose this Text Effects option right here, and then select 3D Rotation. And you can't see it because I think it's off of the, um, the recording window, but the item that I want to choose is called um, Perspective Relaxed Moderately. And it's one of the um, you know, preset options in the Perspective section of the selections there. So once I select that, you can see that it kind of leans back a little bit more. I'm going to do one tweak to that, though. I think I want it to lean back a little bit more than that. So I'm going to choose 3D Rotation again, and then go all the way to the bottom of that menu and choose 3D Rotation Options. And here, with this 3D rotation item selected, what you can do is modify any of these settings that you want to. And I found that for the perspective, it seemed to look better if I upped this to about 100. And you can see down here that as I change that, it um, makes it lean back a little bit more. So we'll just go with that for now. 100 looks pretty decent. And then next is we need to apply a motion path so that this text moves upward on the slide. So to do that, we're going to keep this uh, text box selected, choose Add Effect, Motion Paths, and then I'm going to choose Up so that it moves upward on my slide. And I'm going to change this also to With Previous. And the other thing I want to do here is make this last longer, otherwise it's going to really go flying up right onto the slide. So I'm going to stretch this to about, um, let's just go with, I don't know, eight seconds seems about right, eight and a half. And then we also need to adjust the motion path's end point, right? So that's going to be a little bit higher up on the slide here. So I'm going to just stretch this up to be about, I guess that looks pretty good. <laughs> OK, next thing we need to do is cause that text to um, kind of shrink a little bit as it moves upward. So the way that we can do that is apply this emphasis effect called Grow Shrink. So I'm going to come back here and select the text again. And now we're going to choose Add Effect emphasis and we're going to select grow shrink and I'm going to make this occur with the previous and another thing I want to do is make this happen in about the same time frame as the animation above it so I'm going to change that to eight and a half seconds just like the one that we just applied the other thing we need to change here is that right now the size is actually increasing we don't want the text to get bigger we want it to get smaller so I'm going to change it to a custom size of about um, 30 I think that that's what I used before and it looked okay. So I'll go ahead and keep that and we'll just see what this looks like. So there's my text coming onto the screen. That looks pretty good. The other thing that's going to help with the perspective here is to make the text kind of fade out as it gets further up on the slide. And to do that, the way I did it was I drew a shape over part of my slide and added a gradient fill to it to make it um, appear like the text was fading. So I'm going to choose Insert Shapes and then the Rectangle tool. And then I'll just draw, draw it like this over top of my slide. I'm going to right click, sorry, right click on it and then choose Format Shape. And I'm going to uh, choose to apply a gradient fill. Now these are all filled in because I was practicing earlier. But what I used was a fill of white for stop one. And I gave it a stop position of 50 and a transparency of zero. I also had a second stop where I had the stop position at 100 and the transparency at 77%. So that seemed to look pretty good. Oh, and we got to get rid of the line too. So let's do that. Format, shape, and line color, no line. Okay, let's go ahead and play that and see how that looks. So as it moves up on the slide, it kind of fades out as it gets towards the top. So not bad. It probably could be tweaked and improved a little bit, but it's a good start you know, to at least know that these are the things you want to play with. You want to adjust the 3D rotation, apply that motion path and the shrinking effect, and then do something to make the top part appear to fade out as the text gets smaller. So I hope that helps.